New tonight, a Mexican drug lord behind bars for murdering a federal agent will soon be released from a Mexican prison. Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo was put behind bars for abducting and killing DEA agent Enrique Kiki Camarena. Tonight, we're hearing from a DEA agent who worked side by side with Camarena. At Channel 5, Steve Solis spoke with Camarena's partner about the drug lord's release from prison. He's in our studio right now, Steve. Well, Victor Cortez is a retired DEA agent. He worked various investigations with fallen agent Camarena. Tonight, Cortez shared his candid thoughts about working with Camarena and what should happen to the person who killed him. Victor Cortez remembers his days as a DEA agent. What I remember is very dangerous. I worked a lot of undercover. Uh, I work a lot of conspiracy cases, uh, money laundering. His work with the DEA was not restricted to the United States. I was assigned to several areas, <clears throat> including South America, Central America, the Caribbean, uh, Mexico. Cortez worked with agents all over the world, including Special Agent Enrique Camarena. It started back in 1984 when uh, we, w we started a mutual investigation. Then I was assigned to Arizona and Enrique Camarena was assigned to Guadalajara, Jalisco. Cortez remembers Camarena well. Agent uh, Camarena was a very active, aggressive um, agent, but he was also well-mannered, polite. Uh, he knew when to turn it on, when to turn it off. Cortez also remembers when he received the news that Agent Camarena had been abducted, tortured, and murdered while working in Mexico. It's very hard to learn that because when you come into law enforcement, you know that uh, you may one day pay the ultimate price, but not in that manner. The person convicted of killing Camarena is Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo, the alleged co-founder of the Guadalajara Cartel. A Mexican appeals court says the 86-year-old should go free. We are firmly opposed to uh, his release or any other person that um, is currently incar incarcerated in Mexico. Um, why? Because we have to think about the uh, uh, Camarena family and what they went through. Cortez says he may not speak for the DEA, but he knows the dangers of being an agent. We want to send a strong uh, message to the drug trafficking organization that if you take one of our DEA agents down, we're going to go after you, uh, no matter what. Cortez says Camarena's legacy lives on with each agent who wears the badge. Camarena was kidnapped, tortured, and killed in 1985. Now, Cortez was also kidnapped and tortured by the cartel one year later. Cortez says he's thankful he was able to live to tell a story and share stories he remembers about Agent Camarena. Live in studio, Steve Solis, Channel 5 News at 10.